I like that. Oh, you're lucky. You almost got yourself shot again. Why are you always sneaking up on me? All right, come on. I got stuff to cover. And you're really going to want to hear this. All right, I got all kinds of stuff to cover, so you better pay attention, son. Now, a lot of you are out there saying, Jeff, what the heck? I haven't seen a video release yet. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it. Been a little busy. Me, the missus, and the crew have been working on something really big. It's going to take about a month or two for us to finish, so just keep them pants on. And trust me, when we're done, you're really going to like this. It's going to increase our gold output, and it's going to give some of you guys out there an experience of a lifetime. I'll give you a hint. It has something to do with that. Huh? Let's see how many of y'all out there are smart thinkers and not fart stinkers. <laughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to leave your comment down below and tell me what we're working on. Be very specific because we just might pick 10 comments, which is 10 people, out of the crowd for something really phenomenal and special. Now, a lot of you out there say, Jeff, that's all fine and dandy, but we still need a video to watch. Just keep them pants on. I got you covered. We went ahead and put together a collection of some of our older vintage videos. That's right. Maybe some of y'all haven't even seen these ones. And why is this so special? Because somewhere in these videos is some hidden clues. Oh, did I get your attention now? So what we're going to do is we're going to play a little game. That's right. How do you like them being son of Jim? The person or persons who can gather up the clues and solve the mystery. Ooh, I tell you what, I got something real special for you. But I'm not gonna let the cat out of the bag just yet. You gotta get those clues together. All right, and you'll see another video where those clues come into play. So we're gonna go ahead and roll that video. You see if you can find those clues. And like I said, the next video, we're gonna tell you exactly what you're playing for. Oh, and you're gonna love this. So Maestro, you go ahead and roll that film. Man, I wish that wind would calm down. It's nice to have cooler temperatures, but man, that wind, that wind will wake you up in the morning. Nothing like a stiff wind there, Sonny Bob. Oh yeah, don't say nothing, just drop those pants. There's that old familiar smell. Oh yeah, there's the glass insulators. Always a bird living in these things. This is bad. And then, of course, right down, right down below me, there's probably 15 or 20 rungs that are just gone. Yeah, somehow that doesn't feel real uh, <laughs> confidence in sparring. Pretty good, Joanne. Look at that. Yeah. New fresh piece of ladder. Look at that. Good job. Only four more to go. Yeah. <laughs> and this one right here is hanging on by at least half a nail. All right. Yeah, I can see it teeter tottering. Got them all clipped together. All right. All of our gear suspended by rope. Our work bags all suspended by rope. See that mountain behind me? I know it don't look very spectacular. You see that black band running through it? Some people would think that's a sill. Remember you got dikes and you got sills. That's not a sill because it didn't form inside the earth. It's part of a lava flow. And you could tell because the bottom section has been cooked, not the top section. On top of that is what? Rhyolite. It's a light colored volcanic rock. It's an igneous rock and felsic in nature. Remember there's three different types of igneous rock. Felsic, intermediate, mafic, and then of course you got ultra mafic, and we'll talk about that later. I want you to take a look in the background. You see that? What do you got? You got two plugs over there. They're they're dacite, which is in the rhyolite family, and you see a lot of hematite at the base. You're gonna find a lot of gold out here in the volcanic ranges that are associated with rhyolite. We found more gold when it's associated with rhyolite than when it's associated with basalt.
have the gold there. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Here we go. Hold your breath. <laughs> yeah. Now that's how you do it. So that would be my number one is gold and gravel and sand. This is a secret that a lot of people don't tell anybody because that's their own personal little sluice box under the street. If you're in a gold barren area and you got a culvert pipe running on the street, you better check in those little grooves because I tell you what, it acts like a natural sluice box. It catches the gold over weeks, months, years. Now a lot of people don't think about this. Road construction cuts that go through the mountains. If you look at some of these newer ones, they cut right through some of these veins in the mother load country. See this? It's called the trumpet plant. And they say, oh, if you find a trumpet plant, there's gold there for sure. No, it just means there's a lot of mineralization there, son. A lot of heavy minerals in the ground. They love that stuff. Horsetail is the same thing. If you find horsetail, there's a good chance there might be gold there. Why am I showing you this? Well, I want you to understand it. This is considered a mafic rock. Mafic meaning what? Magnesium and iron. Now, if it was granite, this would actually be rhyolite if it was a dike. That would be felsic. Felsic just means feldspar and silica. You got two ends of the spectrum. Then you got intermediate in the middle. That's usually what andesite is. Well, if you have any of these diabase dikes or basalt dikes that run through creek beds, they're great for trapping gold. Now, if you're looking for hard rock gold, what are these good for? Well, if you're in a region where there's a lot of granite and you have diabase dikes or basalt dikes running through the granite at the contact zone where these two guys meet, is what? Metamorphic rock. Well, a certain process takes place called, that's right, contact metamorphism. You better know this stuff. And a lot of the gold deposits can form at that contact zone. Remember I told you contact zones are important, whether it's placer or if it's hard rock. There's a lot behind that. I want you to look it up. See that? Just gobs and gobs of black sand. Look at that. It's all magnetite. Put a magnet on there and pick it up. That means there's a lot of mineralization in this area. A lot of it. That's important. That's what the old timers were looking for. To give them a clue on whether or not they should be going higher up to look for gold. And that's what we're going to do. And you see this? This has been hydrothermally altered. See how it's been altered red? Hydrothermal alteration. Well, a lot of times in these contact zones here, right about there, you can have what? Mineralization form there that would have gold in it. See that? You know what that is? That's alkali, son. And what do you get when you get alkali deposits like that? Huh? See those crystals? That means there's water here, son. Come on, you know that. And look at this. Water's only about six inches down. You see that? Look at that. Now there's certain rocks that are known to be associated with gold. A lot of people don't talk about this, but I'm going to talk about it. All right, one of them is schist. I love schist. Schist is a metamorphic rock. You should know that. I talked about it last time. You can get a lot of things from schist. Garnets from schist, pyrite from schist. You can get gold deposits in schist. And of course, the, the most important one is green schist. Remember that. Now you also got serpentine, especially when it's in contact with your black slate, like in California. In the contact zones there, you can have quartz and, and calcite that have gold in them. Uh, another one is chert, especially when you have uh, scarn deposits. And of course, greenstone, like you have up in Canada, the Arcane Greenstone Belt. Remember, when you're discussing gold, hard rock gold, you have to have a source, a conduit, and a trap. It's really important to learn the language, okay? Now, if you have a White's GMT, that one has a specific mode on it called Follow the Black Sands, which is fantastic. And it'll actually show you the heaviest concentrations of black sand. And what you're going to do is you're going to dig it up, especially if it's like you see here, I'm up on this bench of this bedrock. And I'm going to scoop it all up, take it back, and then pan it out and see if there's anything here. This is a really interesting mine. Now, if you don't know anything about this mine, this was the first mine in Searchlight. And what's more is the founder of Searchlight found this mine. His name was George, George Colton. And he came through here in the 1870s. 
And the town got its name because when he came through, he said, you know what? There ain't no gold here. You're gonna need a searchlight to find it. Well, he found it and he sunk a shaft right here because there was an outcropping not far and he was gonna get up underneath it. The first load he took to the mill averaged 72 ounce per ton. It's really strange because the ore is traveling in lead carbonate or sericite. Hey, for you guys out there that know geology. You have silicified zones in there and of course everything's weathered all the way down. More of the gold was found in the lead, which is lead carbonate, than anywhere else, which is really bizarre. And of course they found galena and pyrite, all kinds of sulfides down there too. I've had a lot of people ask me about this and they wanted to know more about the mineralization in gold and quartz mines tonight. All right, now take a look at that. You got barite which forms against the quartz monzonite. I don't know if you can see that. Those are barite crystals right there. And I'm gonna move this real slow so you can see it. And right there you got copper carbonate and you got calcite. And you got some better examples in this bucket of some of the calcite right there that forms inside of these pockets. And I'm telling you, the gold is traveling into calcite mostly. And you got gold with wherever you have uh, barite crystals and manganese oxide but for the largest concentrations, look for your calcite pockets, or what they call bugs. Yep. What, what's inside, Mario? Well, there's a saloon, an op actual operating saloon. Wow. Well, you want to go and take a look? Sure thing. Come on, let's go.